Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trizzo. Welcome to my first tutorial. I'm going to start doing these about once or twice a week and they're going to start out very basic and simple and as we progress we're going to get more and more technical and advanced. Um, today we're just going to learn how to make a quick sub bass line with a kick and a percussion loop for minimal techno and hardcore techno, tech house, stuff like that. Um, quick background on myself, I produce mainstream EDM and electro house stuff under the alias Trizzo. Um, I have stuff signed to multiple different labels. You could look me up on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, anything like that. T-R-I-Z-Z-O-H. I also produce um, underground techno and tech house and stuff like that under my regular name, Joe Patrizzo. You could also look me up on that, on same stuff. Um, so today, we're going to try to duplicate or come very close to this bass line I made for my track, Hell's Kitchen. Alright, so we're gonna start with a kick, and I already have a kick in here, it's a vengeance kick. Um, I did fade it though because I decided that I don't need to use the entire transient. This was the original transient, but that's too much because I need to have room for my sub to work with the kick. I also EQ'd it a little bit just to give it a little bump over here around, what is that, like around 3 or yeah, around 2.86. And I put a spectrum on it to find out that it was in A and I monoed the kick too and just reduced it so it's around negative 6 dB yep um, so now we're just gonna grab operator from the instruments drag it in and we are gonna make a 4 bar MIDI clip command shift M and to start out just to get the sound Oh, yeah, real quick, um, we're going to be in A major, and the A major scale goes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, back to A. Alright, so we're going to make this lower, though, obviously, with a sub, even lower than that. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, um, just to start, we're going to put it on the off base, alright, and duplicate it across the entire four bars. I don't know why this isn't doing it the way I want it to, but we'll do it this way. Alright, so... As you can see, it's very plain and simple right now, basic and boring. Alright, so we're going to go to the operator. The first oscillator from operator is just going to not really be touched, maybe just bring the attack in a little bit like that. Um, it's going to stay as a sine wave. The second one is also going to stay as a sine wave. Move the attack, barely anything. Um, and I'm gonna bring the second oscillator in just to give it a little more color. Because as you can see right now, it's only sub, you don't have any other frequencies in there. Alright. We're also gonna bring the volume up. Um, but we're gonna bring the volume up with an EQ 8. And we'll also, while we're at it, just take out the high end frequencies. Boost it up about 3. I like that a little bit lower than the kick. Now this one can be, I usually do a triangle or a square depending on what I'm feeling. We're just gonna add a little bit of this to give it a little more brightness. Right, and then this one will add a little more sign too. Actually, Make it a square. Alright. 
So now that we have the sound, we're close to the sound, we always can fix that later on. We are gonna type in some different notes. So usually on the, after the second kick and after the fourth kick, I like to make two, two sixteenth notes. Um, but I am gonna put a little variation. We'll do B and C sharp, and then we'll do um, G sharp and F sharp. Give it the black notes. It's a very dark and ominous vibe. Um, the second bar is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go, uh, we'll go up to C. No, I'm sorry, we're gonna go D and C sharp, I like that. Also, I don't want anything really ending where the kick starts. I'm gonna bring some stuff in a little bit. Um, and this one will go here and we'll go down to E actually. F sharp and E. So this is what it's going to sound like. And actually, we're going to just do two bars. Not too much variation. And this is what it sounds like by itself. I'm actually going to take away this. This is the kick without the bass. Um, so we're also now gonna add a percussion loop. I actually made these loops, percussion loops, bass loops, um, hats, snares, stuff. It's a free sample pack on my free label that I started a few months ago, Subsolar Recordings. And look it up on SoundCloud. You could download this pack for free. It's nothing crazy. It's just got a few loops and stuff in it. Uh, yeah, I like this one. We're going to put this one in. It's going to be loud, so we'll lower that. Alright, and we're going to put some reverb on it too. Reverb, high quality, cut the low ends out. Um, decay time up a little bit and lower the dry wet yeah I like that so this is the final product pretty much guys this is nothing that's gonna be crazy it's just gonna help you get your song started and maybe let your creative juices flowing so uh, here we go Alright, so also, I'm sorry if the sound is clipping, I'm actually, all the sound is coming through my mic, even what's coming from Ableton is coming through my mic, so if it doesn't sound that professional, I'm sorry for that, I'm going to work on that in future videos to get it come directly from Ableton. Um, if anyone has any um, original tracks also, by the way, please send them to trizomusic at gmail.com because I'm always looking for original tracks to put in my Mixed Drinks weekly mix on YouTube. Um, I will give you a shout out and I'll support your track and you support my YouTube channel by sending me music. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial.